What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited about this one. It's kind of the wrong time of year, but I don't care because we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite fragrances, and that's Comme de Garçons by Monocle Scent Free. Okay, so where do we start? Monocle Scent 3, Sugi. It's made by Comme de Garçons for a lifestyle magazine called Monocle, who are kind of had uh, this kind of aspirational um, high life uh, lifestyle and design magazine. And uh, they've kind of partnered with Comme de Garçons to make three scents. They've made Scent 1, Hinoki, uh, Scent 2, uh, Laurel and Scent 3 Sugi, which is this one. Uh, the perfumer was uh, Antoine Masson Dure, who's um, Le Ta Libre d'Orange, uh, pretty famous for that. Um, he's done some CDG uh, Comme de Garçon stuff before, like Comme de Garçon Play, and he's done a bunch of Burberry stuff, um, Burberry Brit, Burberry London, things like that. As for the presentation, this is the box, it's pretty standard. Uh, it's, it's, it's got the monocle sentry on the front, the, the kind of monocle kind of uh, zero, and then on the side three, and then on the back it's got a bunch of uh, information. A bottom has the batch code. To be honest, I can't see this being uh, counterfeited too much, so I'm not going to go too much into this. Uh, Say so mostly I include boxes if I've got them still, just to kind of help out you guys so you don't get ripped off. But I, I can't see this being particularly something that's going to be counterfeited much so yeah inside anyway you get a little card which uh, just explains how they've uh, teamed up with Comte de Garçon once again uh, after the success of their first two fragrances so in the top we've got Mediterranean Cyprus in the, uh, and Madagascan pepper in the middle it's got iris from Florence and Virginian cedar and then in the bottom it's got pine and Haitian vetiver now, it's the kind of vibe, it's called Monocle uh, Scent 3 Sugi. Sugi is Japanese cedarwood. Uh, it's very popular. Uh, it's supposedly like the, the, the spiel from, okay, so I'll read you this kind of spiel is uh, Japanese cedar is popular as an ornamental plant in Japan and has a delicate, clean, and energizing fragrance. Well, that's kind of like half the story. So if you're, um, sort of familiar with Japan or, or if you've been to Japan it's you know that sugi wood is like hugely important like culturally for Japan it's like their national tree and they use it for sort of just all sorts in Japan they use it for construction and uh, ornamentals and making furniture if you go to like temples and shrines you'll just see it planted all around uh, it's very has it's very like it's kind of deep uh, as deep i would say in the kind of cultural psyche of japan as things like sakura and uh, cherry blossoms so it's a deeply rooted wood in japan and one of the things that they do use it for quite a lot you 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 know it, you might notice is in bathhouses and things like that and um I think that the reason I'm explaining this is because I think that is exactly what they were going for with Monocle Scent 3. I think they were going for that Japanese bathhouse kind of vibe, which is really hard to explain. And I won't focus on it too much, but I'll just kind of chuck that out there. That that's if, if you are familiar with Japanese bathhouses and that kind of smell that you get from them, I would say um, you're kind of going to have a head start knowing what this is going to smell like. So what does it actually smell like then for those you know perhaps less familiar um, it's just incredible this is probably the most beautiful wood fragrance i've ever smelled in my life it's incredibly ethereal and airy and light um, and fresh now when you first spray it I i'm gonna spray it i'm kind of loath to spray it because it's a bit of a waste and I absolutely adore this and it's quite expensive which we'll come to later but I will spray it so off the top you're gonna get a very like sharp and quite savage and not particularly 
well, this really depends, but for a lot of people, they won't find this pleasant. It's very, very sharp green coniferous note that is mixed with a lemon, sort of citron, uh, citric vibe. Uh, now that is the kind of main kind of gist of sugi, uh, which is this Japanese cedar, uh, but it's essentially like, if, if, you're, if you're familiar with uh, lemon cypress, it's very similar to that, in that it's a coniferous green citric vibe. Um, now I have sort of spoken before how I, da I dabble in sort of amateur kind of hobbyist perfumery and I, I actually have a sugi in my garden and I, I tincture it uh, to use in that and this is a tincture that's on the go. It's been on the go for a few weeks now and I mean, the colour of that is incredible but it's the same that, that you can definitely get that smell from that. It's, they've definitely used that, that kind of lemony sugi vibe uh and uh, for the top note and it's incredible it's it's very green it's very coniferous it's definitely a wood uh smells a bit like a pine to a degree um and then you get this pepper that's very very soft very soft it, it almost not there like it's it's so far back it's just sort of a touch, just just kind of a little, just to sharp. I mean, as if it needs to be sharper anymore. Like just to kind of chuck in a little bit of interest to that sharpness. And it's very very industrial feeling, which is weird because it's you know you get all these sort of woody notes and you feel like it's going to be more natural kind of relaxed vibe, but it's got this incredibly sharp industrial feeling and it, I mean it's just gorgeous it really is beautiful it's very fresh smelling so in the spring this kills this will absolutely kill in the spring and then about now so I however long I've sprayed that a couple minutes now things are calming and the peppers coming out a little bit but also the iris is starting to come out now the iris in this is really old school it's the sort of iris that's going to remind you, it's going to have nostalgic kind of mm, recollections for a lot of people. It, it, it's very like a, I, I, I'm loath to say it, but grandmother kind of iris. It, it, it's very, very old school, very traditional iris smell. And it's sort of something that, most people are probably not going to like by itself because it's it's very i mean i say old school but it's very traditional almost like too classic makes it would date the fragrance terribly but the trick they've done with it is they've blended it with all these modern notes and it just pulls it straight back into the like 21st century and it's incredible masterstroke in, in my opinion and that, so, so now, say we've got this kind of really old school iris that's kind of nestled in amongst a kind of very slight Virginian cedar. Um, now, Virginian cedar has that kind of pencil sharpening kind of um, pencil sharpener kind of smell. So, if you ever you know sharpened your pencil and smelt the sharpenings, uh, you'll know this the smell of this. But it's it's very slight. It's not a strong note in this composition at all it's very sort of down um and just sort of just plays in and out uh so you, you're mainly getting at uh, that that kind of uh, sugi still that kind of lemony citric kind of coniferous vibe with this uh very traditional iris and then just a hint of this kind of uh virginian seed it's a hint of this kind of slightly more processed uh, pencil sharpening wood sort of coming out uh, and then that's pretty much it I would say it's pretty linear after that that's that's the fragrance the only way it really develops is that the the lemon kind of sugi cypress uh, sits back and the iris comes out a little more in fact, so I wouldn't say this is that linear actually, because it does evolve quite a bit. So yeah, the, that sits back and the iris comes out, 
and the iris becomes almost the main player for quite a bit of the fragrance. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm, I'm quite familiar with the way it smells, so I, I can describe it okay. But it, that that iris will, will sort of dominate and be the kind of main note along with that cedar and the kind of back in the composition slightly cypress. And that will be sort of the main body then. That's when you're really kind of into the fragrance. Um, and then as that wears on, you start getting almost like a sweet, incense-y sort of feel to it. But it's, I don't think it's incense. I think it's actually the Haitian vetiver. But the vetiver in this is so light and it's so sparsely used that you get that kind of pepperiness and that kind of spiciness, but it's just like, you know, you don't really get the kind of, you, you can't really smell the root of it, you know, you can't, it doesn't smell like a kind of rooty vetiver, you know, it's it's just a hint. And it, say, it almost gives it a kind of sweet incense feel. I don't think this is my favorite woody fragrance, but it's by far the most beautiful woody fragrance I've ever smelled because a lot of woody fragrances they're not beautiful they're quite rough they're quite raw they have that kind of uh, ruggedness to them that especially with vetiver in there has that quite spicy rugged sort of yeah like rawness to it and this fragrance doesn't really have that it, it has very clean edges very sort of sharp dapper and it's lightweight incredibly lightweight and that light that lighted light weightedness it just makes the whole thing very ethereal very sort of floating and dreamer like uh, it's, it, it's, so it's very 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 um evocative and i say beautiful every facet of the fragrance is almost an opposite of and another facet and that they that right but rather than sort of kind of clashing that that they're just melding together perfectly and it's just genius it really is i say almost every facet of this fragrance you can take and find its opposite and within the smell you can find how it's just blending together and just creating this fantastic balance of all of them together so you, you know modernity traditionalism sort of industrial versus the natural and the kind of sharp citric and the sweet and the dry it's just incredible it really is nice I, I could wax about this for, forever and I probably sound a bit pretentious I don't care smell it and I think you'll understand um, now I am going to be a little bit harsh about it and I don't want to be because I love it but it frustrates me equally so I think it's fair enough it doesn't last it, it lasts about three hours before it's gone completely um, I don't again if they were smart, they could say that they were doing that on purpose because, to again, to recall Japanese culture, a lot of Japanese culture relies on this kind of the beauty of things that don't last forever. The beauty of things which are uh, here today, gone tomorrow and didn't live very long. For example, you see it very clearly in cherry blossoms. Uh, the fact that they, they bloom and then they're beautiful, but then they fall and they're gone. Uh, you know, th this, this is... This is a, a theme that runs throughout the culture. Um, and so, you know, if they were smart, like I, I should be their marketer really, because if I could have told them that, but it, it, maybe they were trying for that, who knows? Um, you know, but it is part of it. And, you know, I've just spun that in a good way almost. But the reality is it doesn't last very long and it's really, really depressing because I want it to last longer, but three hours and it's a skin scent for me and and that's like pushing it as well and and all you're kind of left with at that point is that kind of sweet very very soft vetiver 
and a little bit of the kind of sugi kind of lemon cypress and and that's about it and and that's kind of sad so performance wise it really really sucks um strangely you do get whiffs of it throughout the day even when it feels like it's gone so you might try and smell it on your skin and you'll be like well it's kind of gone but it will kind of whiff like you'll get a, a waft of that kind of uh, vetiver and you'll be like oh well it's it is still there but it but it's not enough it's it's it, it essentially is a skin scent by three hours and that's really really sad um so that's a shame in terms of gender it, it's totally unisex i think it sort of tends to lean a little bit masculine but I, I think this would be beautiful on anyone and i think it would be super beautiful on a woman i think it would really be a knockout um in in the spring it would just you just absolutely nail it in terms of when you'd want to wear it I mean, anyone can wear anything anytime but i would say personally spring daytime possibly summer night time it could work if you were sort of an outdoorsy type or you were doing something outdoors um it might it could work then because it's so cold it ha it is a cold fragrance um i wouldn't want to wear it in the day uh, in the summer i don't think perhaps i would but i'm not sure i'm not i'm not sure for me i would it's 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 not really fresh it, it, it's cold but it's not i wouldn't say it's fresh i'd say it's sort of it's quite harsh so I don't know, I mean, my person, me personally in the summer, like the high heat of summer, I don't really like many fragrances at all, to be honest. So perhaps it would work in the summer for you in the day. But I, I would say springtime, just perfect. Uh, male and female, whatever you like. It smells classy. I think you could dress it up, absolutely. But I also think you could dress it down and just wear it casually. It's incredible. Um, Price-wise, it is quite expensive. Small 50ml bottle is about £90 or $120, I think. And it is never discounted, really. So it is expensive. Um, and uh, trying to find a, dis a decount of it is going to be a challenge because it only comes in 50ml bottles. So most people are probably not going to want to decount it. Um, so that's kind of a shame um but it's worth it in my opinion i i would as soon as this runs out i i will replace it immediately like in fact i would probably even replace it before it ran out so i do think it's worth it and i would buy it the ingredients are to me they smell very high quality i don't i, I, I don't really feel sometimes with fragrances that are quite expensive you know like two three four pounds a meal i start feeling a bit like mm, am i getting ripped off here probably i mean most fragrances are a rip off anyway but in those cases particularly i start really feeling like it like i, I start sort of not sure if this is value like has such good value for example um but with this fragrance i just don't care it's just beautiful I would pay double and still buy it probably um so but don't tell them that so that's Comme de Garçon Monocle uh, I hope you like my review I did wax lyrical about it a little bit because I do love it um so in, I will kind of reiterate though it, it, it does the longevity does suck it really does suck um so if you are interested in buying it do bear that in mind uh, that it's going to be fleeting it's going to be three four hours tops and that's that's going to be a lot if you enjoyed uh the video please like subscribe um comment if you've smelt it if you smell any of the other monocles uh let me know because i i've smelt uh, hinoki and i like that um but i don't own any other two but i probably will own hinoki at some point laurel i haven't actually smelt so if you've got any um experience with laurel let me know because i'd be definitely interested in, in knowing what you guys think of that so yeah uh cheers thanks for watching